Hi, my name is Andy Sykes. I'm an award-winning animator and illustrator based in the UK. Welcome to my lessons on Flash CS5. This is my website, hexjibber.com. You can check out my animation, my illustration, my interactive work, and also more of my video tutorials in Flash. Enjoy. Hi, welcome to my tutorial on lip syncing in Flash. There you can see a face lip syncing to some audio I recorded. If you don't know how to import audio, check out my importing audio tutorial. So let's take a look at what we've got here. You can see that I've got some streaming sound up here in my sound layer. Hi, welcome to my tutorial. I've got a layer called mouth, which has got all my mouth shapes in it on different keyframes. I've got a head layer with my head on it. And I've got this guide layer, which has a guide to all the different mouse shapes that I'm using. It's fairly easy to find all the different mouse shapes you need for lip syncing on the internet. If you type in mouth shapes lip sync or mouth shapes animation, then you'll find a chart of different mouse shapes. Depending on which books you read or different websites you look at, some people say there are eight different mouse shapes. Some people use only four. I'm using 12 here and a start position which makes 13 in total. It's really about what suits you best and what you feel most comfortable working with. So here are my 12 mouth shapes. I've got my start position which is just a smile. Uh, so that's essentially my mouth closed. I've got an ah sound which also works for H or H. Huh. I've got this closed mouth which works a C, D, G, K, N, S, T, X, Y and Z or Z. I've got a small mouth shape which is W or Q. I've got an open mouth with teeth which works for I or E sounds. I've got a closed mouth with pinched lips which works for B, M and P, B, M and P. I've got a CH sound which also works for J and SH. A big wide open mouth with a tongue which is for O. I've got a closed mouth sort of biting its bottom lip for F and V. I've got a th sound, which is the tongue sticking out with the top deck of teeth on top of it. Th. You think about how you say th. That's the sort of shape you make with your mouth. This is an oo sound, which is different from o, oh, which we've got here. That's o, oh, and that's oo. And you'll find when you're doing lip syncing, you do start making a lot of stupid noises and pulling stupid faces. So. I like to do it in the privacy of my own home. This one is A or R, and this is L, L, with the tongue behind the teeth with the mouth quite wide open. Okay, so what I've done is I've made, if I unlock my guide layer, I've made each one of these mouth shapes into a symbol. What that enables me to do is swap symbols. So what I've done is I've made each of these shapes into a symbol, and they're all saved over here in my library the folder that I've made called mouse. To make a folder in your library, just click on this new folder icon. And I've labeled them all in the same way that they are over here on the guide layer, as you can see. And what this enables me to do is in the timeline, I've just created various different keyframes and swapped out the symbol that I want to use, you see. You just right click on a symbol and go to swap symbol. I can choose from all my different mouths here to fit the shape of the sound that's being made up here in the sound layer. So to illustrate that, what I'll do is I'll ditch my mouth layer. So we've got no mouth and I'll create a new layer called mouth. And I'll drag my start smiley symbol into that layer like so. And I think I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And what this will do is it will determine the size of all the symbols that come after it. And so our first sound is H or an A for hi. If I play that through. Hi. There we go. So we've got ha. That's the first sound that we want. The rule I work by is at 25 frames a second, I want each mouse shape to last for at least two frames. Otherwise it goes too fast and it's hard to keep track of them all. You can have them lasting for longer than two frames, but two frames is the minimum I go by. 
So what I'm going to do is I've got my smiley face, but you can see here, if I zoom in a bit, this is where my first bit of sound is. You can see that there's that bulge in the sound wave. So I'm going to right click and insert a keyframe. So I've inserted a keyframe on my mouth layer. I'm going to go down to my symbol uh, using the selection tool, right click on it, go swap symbol. I want to change my mouth shape to ha, uh, which also works for ha, uh, in the hut uh, and hi. So that's my first symbol that I want to use. So what comes next? Hi. Next sound we're having is this I or E, the hi. So I'm going to let that hu uh, sound last for one, two frames. Then I'm going to insert another keyframe here. And I'm going to swap my symbol out to that E sound. Hi. So round about here, that E sound has finished. So I'm going to right click, insert a keyframe, go down to my mouth, and swap it out to my original start smile. So let's take a look at that. Hi, welcome to my tutorial. On so you can see we've already lip synced the first word we've got, hi. The next sound we've got coming up is the w of welcome. Welcome to my tutorial. On so let's find where that begins. You can see in the sound wave we've got a bulge here. So I'm going to right click, insert a keyframe. So this keyframe here is just that's a smile lasting for quite a few frames there. We want to swap this symbol out to be a W for welcome. You can see that's a W sound. If you look in the mirror, it's just saying W and welcome. That's what it looks like. So I'm going to leave that for one, two frames. Next up is the E in welcome, but elcom. So I'm going to insert a keyframe, go down and swap out the symbol. Now it's not an E sound, it's not welcome, it's more like uh, we're elcom. So that's more like this uh sound, we're elcom. So I'm going to choose that, we're elcom. So I'm going to leave that for one, two frames, insert a keyframe. And next we've got the L in welcome, we're elcom. So I'm going to swap out the symbol there to this L with the tongue behind the teeth. Well, let's play that through. Hi, welcome to my tutorial. So the next sound we want is the K. So this is my L here. Let's zoom in and you can see that the next bulge is round about frame 50. That's where the C is going to be. So I'm going to estimate that starts there. That's the nearest frame to it. So keyframe, I'm going to swap it out for a C. K. Hi, welcome to my tutorial. Next up, we want the O sound, so I'm going to insert another keyframe after about two frames. Swap it out for the O, welcome. Next up, I'm going to go one, two frames, insert a keyframe, and then we need the M sound, welcome. And there we go, it's our B, M, and P symbol there. Come. Let's try playing that through. Hi, welcome to my tutorial. So you can see we're beginning to build up our speech using our mouth shapes. It's really that easy, just swapping out symbols and before you know it, you'll have a fully functioning lip sync. Have a go yourself and I'll see you in the next lesson. Hi, if you enjoyed this lesson, why not consider checking out the Hextuber Colouring and Activity book on my website, hextuber.com. It's suitable for kids and adults alike and you can get it from Amazon, Play.com and WH Smiths. Cheers.